Greg Gaines, a senior at Pittsburgh's Shenley High School who self-describes as having the face of a little groundhog, is 17 years old and shies away from close interactions with other pupils, his parents force him to make friends with Rachel Kushner, a fellow student and a former childhood friend, when he finds out that she has been diagnosed with leukemia, despite their first encounter being unpleasant and neither of them really seeking the other's company, Greg is able to start a discussion with Rachel regarding her collection of pillows. His eccentric nature and honesty allure him to her. Greg introduces Rachel to Earl, his co-worker, with whom he creates short films that parody well-known movie titles. Earl tells Rachel that Greg avoids calling people his friends out of concern that they won't return the favor. Earl shares their collection with her over Greg's resistance, and she finds it amusing, Greg starts spending more time with Rachel and caring for her by entertaining her to brighten her spirits when she begins her chemotherapy treatment and gradually loses all of her hair, Greg, who frequently breaches the fourth wall, tells viewers that Rachel does not pass away in the end even though she suffers during her therapy and appears to get worse and worse. Greg and Earl are persuaded to make a movie about Rachel by Madison, an attractive girl at school, and Greg is persuaded to enroll in a nearby college by Rachel. In order to complete the movie, Greg continues to neglect his schooling and eventually drops out of it altogether, Rachel decides to stop receiving chemotherapy after discovering that it is causing more harm than benefit, Greg and Rachel argue angrily about her decision, Greg accuses Rachel of giving up on herself, and Rachel responds by pointing out that Greg won't act in a selfless manner unless directed to do so, he departs, heartbroken that he is no longer able to assist her. Greg approaches Earl and accuses him of being responsible for the things that caused his friendship with Rachel to fail, Greg challenges Earl to punch him, to which Earl responds by criticizing his inability to feel sympathy or care about anyone other than himself, after giving Greg a moving endorsement for Rachel's movie, Earl informs him that their friendship is over, Greg's acceptance to the college he intended to attend is later cancelled due to his subpar academic performance. Greg finds out later in the year that Rachel is dying in the hospital again. His mother exhorts him to go see her, Madison extends an invitation to Greg to attend the prom. But Greg decides to go to the hospital at the last minute. Greg is unable to respond when the limo driver asks him whether he loves the girl he's going to visit during the trip there, before playing the movie he made for Rachel on the front wall of her room. The movie brings Rachel to tears, but she soon enters a coma and passes away a few hours later, Greg tells the audience that he was lying when he said Rachel wouldn't pass away because he didn't think she would. Greg is consoled by Rachel's mother at her Shiva, and they both weep together. Earl and Greg's friendship is revived. When Greg breaks into Rachel's room during the burial, he discovers a message from her explaining that she wrote Greg's college to let them know he missed class for her. She also expresses her desire for Greg to be free to steal whatever she owns. Within her books, he discovers a number of beautiful carvings showing her with Greg and Earl. Greg departs with his favorite Rachel's pillows and one of the books that has a unique carving on it. Later, Greg writes his account of his relationship with Rachel and sends it, along with the film he created for her, to the college, adding the warning that, the last person who viewed this immediately went into a coma and died. 